I'm going to sing you a Scarborough Fair now. I, I learned uh, I learned this courtesy of sheer blind luck. I've got a phone call. You've got this phone call that said, "Hello, is that is that is that Martin Carthy?" Yes. Oh, good. Can you sing Scarborough Fair? I said, "Well, yeah, I can actually." She said, "Oh, that is good. Good." Um, so, um, um, and. Uh, can you come on Friday and, and record it for me? And I said, yeah, OK, yeah. I mean, I was having a terrible time with, with, with the version of Scarborough Fair that I knew, but I thought this might be an opportunity to, uh, to put it to bed. And, um, and it was, but not in a way I expected. Because uh, her next thing was to say, OK, uh, I... You're coming on Friday. Can you come in on Friday? Yes, I can come in on Friday. 11 o'clock, all right. 11 o'clock's fine. She said, good. I'll bring the words and music. Clonk and put the phone down. And I go, well, I sort of know, th know this. <laughs> oh, well, never mind. And on Friday, 11 o'clock, there I was. And, and, and there she was. And she had this, this, this little set of words. And you, know, how, you can imagine how many versions of Scarborough Affair there are. There you know, about eight million of them, and this had some, and a couple of nice verses in them. I thought, oh, that's nice. And then she said, here's the tune. And, and then she handed me the tune, and I looked at the tune. She said it was collected by Cecil Sharp in Gothland, which is, um, it's sort of just in, inland from, uh, from Robin Hood's Bay, um, which is where, where I live, where all, 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 all my family live. Um, I was, I was just astonished by this tune. I looked at this tune and said, hello, tune. We're going to become good friends. <laughs> Straight away. And she said, can you, you can read it. And I said, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I, can you sing it? And I said, yeah, give me, give, give me, give me the words. So I, I sang it for her and she said, oh, that was, uh, that was right. can you sing it again? No, 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 OK, yes, yes. She asked me about half a dozen times to sing it again, and then she said, what key was that? And I said, that was about D, I think. About, yes, that's it, D. She said, oh, good. Can you sing it in C? And I said, yeah, I'll give it a go. So I sang it in C, and she said, oh, that's wonderful. And then she gave me the dates of... She told well. Then she told me what it was for. It was for a, a, a uh, sort of a thriller, supernatural thingy that um, was going to be on uh, three episodes on uh, ITV, and the leading actor was Michael Palin. Um, and she said, and it's called "Remember Me." I don't know if any of you saw it, um, but she had done this fantastic. I mean, she she played me the the. Uh, that the uh, a version of of the of, of the tune that she'd done with as a string arrangement, and God, the arrangement was just ah, oh, just wonderful, utterly sensational. So I waited for the thing to come around, and and, and it came around, and uh, and Norma recorded the, the playout music because she uh, she was doing something. Remembered she had to do it, so she rushed in and put the put the record on, and and, and there there I was. I just could, well, when I when when I when I played it, I couldn't hear me, so I said, "I'm not in this." And she said, "Yes, you are. You fool. Have another listen." <laughs> oh, okay. So I, so I did, and, and there I was. <laughs> This is the same one, but just a bit louder. Parsley, sage, rosemary, and thyme 